I'm Emma. And I'm Fiona. Every year, the National Eating Disorder Information Center encourages conversations across Canada about body image, media literacy, and food and weight preoccupation. Today, we're asking people what they think about eating disorders. How can you tell if someone has an eating disorder? I don't think you can tell just by looking at someone. I mean, the cliched eating disorder would be something like anorexia, where um, a, a girl or a guy is extraordinarily thin. But that, that's kind of, that's, while that's a marker, I don't think that's, that's definitive in any way. I think if it's an extreme case, you'd see how thin they are. But generally, I don't think, I mean, you'd notice perhaps if they're going to the washroom to puke after a meal or whatnot. But I think you'd have to know someone fairly well to recognize the signs. I think it's probably pretty difficult unless you know them fairly well. I mean, if, obviously if someone loses a lot of weight suddenly, but other than that, I would assume you'd have to, you know, count on the people nearest to them to notice what their differences are. I don't think you can unless somebody is incredibly, crazily anorexic. But other than that, I don't think you would know. Can't know what's going on in somebody's mind. I get the same question when people ask me, how can you tell if someone has a mental health issue? And usually my answer to that and my answer to how can you tell if someone has an eating disorder is you ask them. You don't assume a skinny person has an eating disorder and you, and you don't, ass, and don't assume that a chubby person needs to lose weight. The way you know if somebody's going through something for sure is you ask them. 